We've been at the marina across Cape Horn Bay with some folks desperately waiting to get to their property to see what's been damaged. There's also a lot of concern about food in the freezer, medicine in the medicine cabinet. We're going behind the fire lines to take a look at what's burned. Heavy smoke in the air is hiding something in Bayview. Majestic mountainscapes that make this lake town a desirable place to live and play. But there's something else behind the haze. Heartbreak. Six homes where families and friends celebrated Independence Day on the 4th were gone after the 5th. Still, there are hundreds of people counting their blessings in Bayview. The Forsyths took us along as they checked on their home off Cape Horn Road, well into the evacuation area. Rita Forsyth, a retired Spokane Public School principal, raced back to a retirement dream house. Such a relief. In fact, somebody took a picture of it yesterday. And the only way I could go to sleep last night, I kept turning on my phone and looking at that picture. It's like the house is still there. The neighbors' houses are still here. And if it wasn't for our neighbors and all these firefighters, it, we wouldn't have a home to come back to. This family grabbed essentials, medicine, food, baby pictures. Then a reminder why their home was evacuated in the first place. Back across the lake, the Forsyths tried to make a plan for their uncertain future. In Bayview, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.